Hello everyone, it's Wimboy here, and today we're going to break down how to be Deadly Decadent. Yes. How it's exploits, it's secrets, and everything in between. As always with my tutorials, they will teach you how to beat it on easy mode, but tips and tricks on how to beat it in S rank do exist in this tutorial, so pay attention. Right, let's get into it. Level basics. There are 354 soul shards in the entirety of the level, 50 in the maze, and the rest are in the manor. There are four secrets on the map, which we will cover later. You will be given the teleport ability before you enter this level, and it's going to be very important to use this, as it will help you get out of sticky situations. The other new addition to this map, compared to the previous two, is traps. We have the spike traps, and the pendulum traps. Now, in all honesty, I believe these are the most dangerous aspect of the map, not the watchers and the reason why is because when you are running away from the watchers these are what are more likely to kill you so the best way to avoid these are of course the visual cues for them but also the sound cues each has its own independent sound cue the spike trap will sound like this and the pendulum trap will sound like this with the swishing noise Use these cues to make sure you avoid them, but also visually, every time you're heading down the corridors with traps, just pay attention. Right, let us get into the AI of the Watchers themselves. The Gold Watchers are very fast. They are faster than the player running and faster than the player speed boosting. They always know where you are, and as such, spawn location doesn't really matter, but in the maze, they spawn in front of you, and in the manor, there is one down each corridor. They operate like the Weeping Angels from Doctor Who, or Boo from Mario, in that when you look at them, they won't move. Because of this, they have a very significant exploit we can use to get past them. The first being, it is very tricky for them to kill you being in front of you. Think about it. You have to run into them. They can't move towards you while you're looking at them, so to kill you while in front of you, you have to move into them. So that's a very important point to remember. When the Gold Watchers reach a vicinity within you, either the sides or behind, they will slow down dramatically. This means that they can't really kill you whilst you're moving at any time because of the speed that they reduce to. They can only kill you while you are momentarily standing still or moving slower than a walk. This, of course, is very important to pay attention to, as this means that the most dangerous factor about the Watchers, apart from when they corner you, again on this map, is the traps as you move away from them. You will need speed boost to S rank this map, which of course increases the chances of making the mistake to run into them, but as long as you know this fact, this level becomes 10 times easier. Because of the behavior of the Gold Watchers, there are several strategies that we can exploit to help beat this level. We will have three strategies for this map. The Don't Panic strategy, the Don't Blink strategy, and the Walk It Off. Don't Panic is the most common and viable strategy for this map, both for S rank and just a beat it essentially. As you run around the map with the knowledge that the Gold Watchers can't kill you while they're in front of you, and if you're moving away from them, they can't kill you, you just essentially walk around the map paying attention to them and the traps. You keep teleport ready at all times as you run around in case one blocks the corridor and you have to go through them, which does occur. However, if you hear footsteps, don't be afraid to look in that direction, particularly in the maze, to stop them advancing up any adjacent corridors or in the maze adjacent open spaces. And that's quite simply it. That is quite simple. Speed boost doesn't need to be needed for easy mode, you will need it for S rank, but any other time, do not use it as it will just increase the chances of you running into them. The other final point about this strategy which helps a lot is as you go around corners particularly, don't look at the corner itself, look at the corridor that you will eventually be exiting out of. Because of this, the Gold Watcher, because of an exploit, will stay there giving you room. This allows us, obviously, to come on to the don't blink tactic. Fun fact about the Watchers. They can't move whilst you're looking at them. But this is also true through walls. <laughs> so if you are looking in the Golden Watchers' general direction, they won't move, even on the other side of the map. Because of this, this is an exploit, particularly in the maze, that we can use. All you have to do 
is go into a corner and look at the floor. All the gold watches will gather around you as long as you leave a bit of space between you and where they will have to stand, they can't attack you. Once you have done this, teleport around them and immediately look at them. You can then walk around the map backwards freely watching them. No matter how far away you get from them, as long as you are looking in their general direction, they won't move towards you, they can't, they're locked. Of course, the most dangerous part about this strategy is the traps, which is where the audio cues will come into play. However, this is also very important to use in the manor or whilst using the don't panic strategy, as you know that is as long as you're looking at them, they can't move away from you, sorry, move towards you. Of course, in the manor, it's harder because they will have more of them. There'll be four of them instead of three, like the maze, and they will come behind you. In the manor as well, there are no corners really uh, that you can trap them into as simply as the maze, so it's better to just head into the corner of a larger room that isn't the main hall and just hide in the corner there. The final tactic uses the biggest exploit of they can't kill you while you're moving away from them and this is of course just keep swimming or walk it off we'll call it. As the walkers slow down to get behind you they can't kill you essentially they have to keep to a certain pace behind you. So you can literally walk away from them. I did a previous video on it as you may have seen I walked the entirety of the map just teleporting out of trouble when I needed to. But when they're behind you, as long as you're moving away at a reasonable pace, okay, a walk, slower than a walk, they can catch up, they can't kill you. So you can walk around the whole map, and that is it. So those are three very important strategies about the gold watches. And again, the most important threat, to be honest, on this map is the traps or your own panic and running into them. Right, let us now cover the map basics so that we can either S rank or get the secret. For the maze part of the map, you're going to want to start on the outside and work your way inwards. Try to keep an idea of where the gold watches are, but just always assume that they're either behind you or to your left or your right. As you progress around the map, again, you can look in their general direction from sounds to try and keep them locked into place. This match is much more open than the manor, which means you can actually squeeze by them. As long as you are moving, they won't be able to get you. So again, keep an eye out for the traps. Just make your way from the outside, work your way in. I don't recommend speed boosting on ED easy, but if you need it for S rank, then do it. But again, just pay attention as the gold watchers will keep up with you with this, so they are always around you. Just keep an eye on them, keep walking, keep moving, and once the last shard is collected, they will despawn, and you will be able to leave the maze to go into the manor. But before you do, this is where the first secret is. Head right, down the side, avoid the traps obviously, and you'll get your first secret. Then head back into the manor. Now the manor is where things will get a little bit trickier. The reason for this is because the corridors are narrower, which means it's a lot easier for the four gold watchers to now corner you. That is where teleport comes in handy. Other problem with the manor as well is the new pendulum axe trap. These are, to be honest, the thing that killed me the most when I first did this, and they are very dangerous. They are found in large clearings and swing from side to side. This means that when you get cornered by a gold watch and have to teleport through them, make sure you time them with the pendulum or the swing of the axe. Use each of the tactics we described to move around the map. Don't be afraid to change corridors or go down empty corridors to go back around, because again, it's better to avoid the watchers than have them block your route. Teleport can be a little bit unreliable, so make sure you leave a bit of space between you and the watcher when you initially teleport, because there is a fraction of a second where the player moves forward within the teleport, and also always make sure you can see the red ring behind them. If you don't, you will still teleport in the direction you are facing, but hit a wall, and this means the gold watcher will kill you as it is classed as walking into them. Three secrets in the manor, the first one being behind this big wall here, the second being in a corner, as you can activate the secret wall and go around the back. Again, they are represented by big bulges on the map. The third one requires a bit more effort to do, but it's still simple. Pull the lever in the middle of the map and run to the room where it is filled with spike traps. The gate block in the door is now gone, and you can head inside and see where the gold watches are made. Keep going through and you have your three secrets in the manor. Once you have all the shards, the watchers will not despawn, but Malak will spawn at the same time. So your best bet here is to leave one shard to the entrance of one of the corridors, because that obviously gives you less to get back. If you die, you will just spawn near the entrance hall, so you can just work your way down, but again for S rank, this isn't viable. 
Once you get to the center room, be prepared to teleport behind the gold watchers protecting the goober in the middle so that you can grab the ring piece and then head outside. This is where the chase scene begins. Head round the right hand side of the maze and straight down. Once you reach this gate and open it, Malak will progress towards you. Give him a little bit of time just to get to you so you can create enough distance when you run past him. Head straight for the back wall and run left, then enter through the gates. Again, don't stop moving and don't run into the gold watchers as they progress along. Once you head through the second lot of gates again and go down the stairs, Malak will again start coming towards you. If you feel speed boost is back, head round him or you can teleport but this will create a problem as the gold watchers are protecting the portal out so you can head around the back of them but also it's better just to avoid malik with speed boost and then teleport behind the gold watchers and escape the level oh no he's right there Thank you for watching this video guys, if there are any other tips and tricks for this level you think I might have missed, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, I'm going to be covering more Dark Deception tutorials again. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.